Shaq's house. 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 Hope your Friday is going well. Mine's going all right. Today, we're going to be talking about similar mutant powers. Yeah. And we're going to do this for the next two episodes as well, too. But who are we going to be talking about today? Have a look-see. Okay. The Proud Star brothers, John and James, they have similar mutant abilities to the point where you think they're carbon copies of one another, but they're not. We're going to go through this video right now to show you who they are and what they can do and their differences. John Proudstar had military training from serving as a U.S. Marine, having earned the rank of corporal along with several other medals. But he was a late bloomer though, as his mutant powers manifested when, at the age of 20 and using only his bare hands, he wrestled and threw a charging bison to save an endangered little girl. As we know, he was reputed to be the first X-Man to die in battle, but that isn't true. That honor belongs to the Changeling. And following the creation of the mutant island nation of Krakoa and the mutant group the Five, mutants that had died before their time began to be resurrected. John was among that number and he was eventually resurrected and welcomed back to life by his old teammates. But he felt out of place on an island where everybody remembered him as a martyr, so he went back to Arizona, Camp Verde, Arizona, to his family's reservation where him and his brother were raised, and he found the only one family member that he had left besides his brother, their grandmother. And to show his acceptance of his place in the new world, he planted a Krakoan gate outside of his grandmother's home so that he, his grandma, and his brother could reunite at times. But what are Johnny's powers? Thunderbird's mutant powers are superhuman strength, speed, and endurance. He was strong enough to lift up to two tons, and his muscle tissue was extremely dense and distributed in such a way as to give him massive shoulders, thighs, and arms. His skin was extremely dense as well, with an additional leathery epidermis, giving him superhuman durability. He also possessed oversized lungs and a respiratory system that allowed him maximum wind and endurance with a minimum of oxygen intake. He could run up his speeds to 35 miles per hour. This was all before he died, though. How his powers had, may have been enhanced since his resurrection is unknown. Now, his brother, James, that's where his power set expands and deviates. My bad, my bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, that's not, yeah, that's not Warpath. No, no, no. That's some ass clown who wishes that he was Warpath. Yeah, playing dress up and wants to be Jimmy Proudstar. Sorry for the interruption. Back with the program. James Proudstar got involved in mutant affairs after his brother's death, first as a Hellion with Emma Frost and a sworn enemy of the X-Men, and then later on the side of the Angels, with X-Force as a founding member in Cable's incarnation and later joining Pete Wisdom's incarnation, the X-Corps, and finally the X-Men. Now Warpath's mutant abilities, they've granted him a multitude of enhanced physical attributes. Initially, he possessed the same powers as his brother, a moderate level of superhuman strength, speed, durability, endurance, the same distribution of muscle tissue to make him just as massive, the same density as well to give him leathery epidermis and the oversized lungs as well too. As time passed, he developed greater and greater levels of strength as his height and muscle mass increased dramatically with age. He currently stands over seven feet tall, possesses somewhere in the range of superhuman class 90 strength, and is considerably resistant to physical injury to the point of being bulletproof. Now James started developing new attributes to his power set shortly after being mind controlled by Tessa of the Hellfire Club. He developed the ability to run at over 100 miles per hour as well as increased reflexes and perceptual ability. He now has excellent night vision and can efficiently process high speed visual information as well as possessing enhanced hearing and increased senses of touch and smell. When the High Evolutionary temporarily removed the active mutant gene from the Earth's mutant population, the reversion of this effect rebooted the power templates of many mutants, including James. Warpath seemed to have become stronger and more invulnerable than before after this, but the most obvious development to his power set was that he could now fly under his own power. But presently, however, his power levels have seemed to dramatically reduced compared to what they have been in the past. 
he uses weapons as well. He, he's used a quarter staff in combat in the past and recently began using a pair of vibranium hunting knives, which he can throw with uncanny accuracy. Now, James is a formidable hand-to-hand -hand combatant, having been trained by both Cable and Wolverine. He's also well-versed in traditional skills of his native Apache, including tracking, hunting, and wilderness survival. I don't know how this guy has gotten downgraded over the years. I mean, he's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with heavyweights like Wolverine, Forearm, and even the Juggernaut. I mean, he's powerful, capable, but woefully underused on Krakoa. They turned him into a goddamn babysitter in the New Mutants book. It's a damn shame. Anyway, that's what we got this week. We're going to be doing another similar power comparison next week. So tune in then, Shackhousers. Have a good week. I'll see you then. Later. Mansion. Apartment. Shack house. Yes! Yeah. <laughs>